What's up, guys? Uh, yesterday, uh, James Sprague joined us, or, or did a row, and uh, did it in 606, 2,000 meters. Um, so we are going to have James on this morning to talk about uh, that row and, and what it was like, how why he did a 2K row time trial. Um, kind of crazy, to be honest. So give him a minute here to join, and... Uh, We'll get started. How's everybody doing? Oh, there he is. What's up? What's up, James? How we doing? Fantastic. Nice hat, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. I got a real short haircut, so I have to cover it up with a hat. <laughs> That's a good hat to wear. Yes, uh, sir. Man, so 2,000 meter row, What was that part of your programming? Uh, yes. So um, we've been testing some different uh, aerobic numbers over here in Florida um, with coach Matt Torres. And um, this was just one of the things to check off. Um, it's been a little bit of time since testing the 2K specifically. Um, the last time I tested it was to qualify for college rowing. Um, and they said you needed to like break the sub 615 barrier back in the day um, three years ago. So I was like, let's give it another shot and see what can happen. So when did you find out that was going to be on, on, on your programming? Oh, How long did you have to think about it? I had three days, and it was not very <laughs> fun. I, I was a little bit stressed out for three days just because I knew I was like, oh, man, this is really going to suck. But, you know, it's like the best thing you think about is it's literally six minutes. Um, and it's, it's, just, it's over so quick. So you just like stressing about something like that is it's hard to not, but it's also like in the grand scheme, it's like six minutes of your life. It's going to be over so quick. Well, six minutes for you. I think it would take most of us a lot longer than that, oh, but uh, <laughs> Thanks, still bro. hurts the same. Yes. Um, so how, how often do you row uh, these days? <clears throat> not much. Um, so it's not a huge focus of, what I'm doing in training right now um, just because it's like something that I'm relatively strong in the field with and something that if it comes up at a competition, I'm confident at. So it was just kind of one of those things where I was like, Hey, let's see what's possible. Uh, have some fun with it. Uh, was, although it doesn't sound fun. I tried to enjoy it and see what was capable. Um, and yeah, so I don't, I don't train rowing much. Got it. And, and you said you were doing that three years ago, training for rowing or, yeah. or were you on a crew team or? I so I was going to be part of the University of Washington crew team back in Seattle. And um, basically, they had to cut kids out of the boathouse for COVID. And I was going to do that for four years. So I wasn't going to go the CrossFit route for a while. And then um, getting cut from that team, I just decided I'm like, hey, let's go on with CrossFit. So um, that rowing training definitely helped uh, my rowing capacity and machine capacity and CrossFit. Um, but definitely like rowing in college is much different than rowing and in, in crossfit they are on that thing for hours on end per day and they i'd say they accumulate close to three-fourths of a marathon or a full marathon per day and in, in water and erg wow it's crazy that is crazy um so if you're rowing a basically a 131 pace for 2000 meters what is your 500 and oh, i have not tested that either uh you're gonna put bad thoughts in my <laughs> all these now thanks a lot well, hopefully matt um, hears this he throws oh my gosh me. um i think that i could probably get like a 116 117 but i'm not sure uh so i'm not going to speak that into existence until i try it did you have a strategy going into this yesterday of what you tried to hold or, or, or a pacing strategy throughout yeah, so I wanted to give myself a shot in the end to be able to hold the sub 130 pace to to break the six barrier. Um, I knew it was going to be really tough, but I'm like, hey, give yourself a shot. Um, so I went out. I tried to hold the 128 for the first 500, which I was successful at. And then I wanted the middle 1,000 to be like right around to 132. So then I could go 128 or below to break the sub six mark, um, which – probably wasn't the smartest idea because i was i i thought about it and after and i was like okay you could have paced this a little differently but i just don't think my body was there yet no matter how i paced it to go 
at that pace. But mm -hmm. nonetheless, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about what happened, and a PR is a PR. Yeah, so what, at what point did you realize that you probably weren't going to get the, the sub six? Mm, probably 1,200 meters in. Got it. Yeah, so, so I thought I, 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 thought I maybe had it. Uh, just like mentally, I was like, okay, like I'm, I'm going to turn my brain off and just see what physically is possible. I, I didn't even look at the screen for the last 500. I was just like, you know what, like you're just going to give energy where energy is due and, and try your best. Yeah. I, well, after I saw that, I messaged Jason Kalipa. Mm -hmm. asking because i knew that he had rode 621 back yeah. in 2013 i wanted to see you know what was his fastest and you know he said the fa the, the fastest he can remember was 616 yeah. um he thinks he may have gone faster but he doesn't recall ever oh. you know he doesn't know what that time is but i mean oh, 606 yeah. might be the fastest of oh, a yeah. of a crossfit athlete um that's not a dedicated rower which is which is amazing i do think for sure that like some one of the big guys could definitely break it. Like I think that that Roman specifically, he could break it because his one K time is nuts. So and his threshold for pain is absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it'd be it'd be not fun, but interesting to do in like a live competition head to head, and just see what yeah. happens. Um, I just saw Roman yesterday. He was doing some tw uh, ski intervals at like yeah. twenty three hundred yeah miles or whatever. I mean, it's insane. It definitely helps um, knowing in workouts when you get on machine like oh your your mid uh, middle recovery paces or your working paces or someone else's really hard paces so mm -hmm. that's it's definitely nice to have that but then on the contrary usually if you're really good at machines there's something else that locks in your training so <laughs> um that's definitely got a lot of holes to fill in still and that's where the work's being put yeah did anybody else have to do the 2k row this week or was it just you I think I was the last one to do it here. So right. everyone's done it here and everyone's put up some great times. Uh, Dallin, Dallin said he was on, the live, on my live stream yesterday. I think he was like a 6.15.5. Mm -hmm. Very fast too. And that's, that's pretty impressive for him because machines are the thing he's been working out hard. So well, watch. Throw, throwing that out there, it looks like he's working. So what other uh, conditioning pieces do you guys t are planning on testing here? Oh, man. Uh We've done we've done a couple. We did uh, a 400 meter run. Uh, we did a 20 minute average watt test on the biker, and then not sure whatever uh, Matt throws at us next. Just gonna give effort wherever it is. But I'm hoping it's over soon because they're definitely not mentally fun to to get into. Yeah. I think mile run will happen soon. Uh, I'm not sure what'll happen there, but it'll, it'll be fun to do. It's nice and sunny here too, so the the track's perfect any day. There you go. How long did it take you to recover from that? um what day? How, how long did it take you to recover from that yesterday oh um it was good in about 20 minutes after 20 minutes i was okay uh, uh doing that uh for the first like 10 minutes after it was pretty hard to get off the floor <laughs> i bet i bet well i don't want to keep you too long i bet you have some training here coming up so uh i appreciate you jumping on and it was uh crazy to watch that six minute row oh uh, thank you so uh, much for having me on brother yeah, man. Have a good one and uh, enjoy some uh, training that's not a 2K row. Oh, I appreciate you. Talk soon, man. All right. See you. Bye-bye.